Hello, my name is Drew Ambler, and I'm going to go over the proper procedure on how to don and doff masks that we see commonly in medicine. I'm also going to couple this with proper use of gloves and the procedure for getting rid of them in a safe manner where we don't cross-contaminate. So the first thing we do with anything, pretty much in medicine, is proper hand hygiene. So you, soap and water is always recommended. You can use hand sanitizer as well. Please look for a hand sanitizer that's either 60% ethanol based or 70% isopropyl based and above. So we're going to get some hand sanitizer. That's what I have right here. We're gonna make sure we work this into everything. Fingers, in between the fingers, knuckles, palms, all the way down to the wrists. You'll know when it's done, when it starts to dry off and things. Now, um, gloves are not necessarily recommended for most things, um, but if you're gonna to be touching contaminated stuff or, or people, um, gloves may be warranted, but day in and day out, probably not. Um, even in outpatient settings, probably not, unless, again, you're going for an area that's potentially contaminated or what have you. So, but for completeness, I'm going to show you gloves. So I have nitrile gloves here. We are going to put on the gloves, which is always fun after hand sanitizer. It's like epoxy in there. Okay, and now let's say we're going to wear a mask, and I'm going to go through various masks. The first and most common one is the procedural or ear loop mask. It has a fold, folded construction so that it can expand one side has an in-sewn metal rod for above the, the nose, around the bridge of the nose for a proper fit. So you know which side is the high, the high part and which side is the low part. Most of these have, um, and it won't, probably won't come up well in this color, one side is lighter than the other side. In this case, this is more blue, this is more white, this is more yellow. Actually, this one's, this one's more white compared to, and this is really yellow. So the color usually is on the outside. The light or whiter part is on the inside that's, that's against your face. So we're gonna find that metal rod, you can feel it. Take the loop, put it over one ear and the other ear and then we're gonna position it. This is inappropriate, okay? So it wants to be over the nose and the mouth. You're gonna have gaps in here so we use the metal bar to try to pull it in. And in fact, the more that you seal this, the less likely, especially if you wear glasses or we're gonna don goggles, because remember the eyes are mucous membranes. That is an entry point, for, especially for some viruses. The, the more we have this situated on our nose, the less fogging we're gonna get, okay? Now it still sneaks in on the side you note know, because this is not a full protection, but it's definitely better than a lot of the other stuff out there like no mask or even some of the cotton homemade masks. Okay. So we go through our business. Now we consider this part virtually contaminated because it's been to the environment. Hands are contaminated. How do we get rid of everything? First things first, we're gonna get rid of the gloves. I'm gonna first grab the glove, the actual glove, not the skin. So outside, I'm gonna pinch it. I'm gonna get my fingers underneath of there and I'm going to inside out, pull it away. Drop it in the trash can. Now I still have a relatively clean and a dirty other glove. So this one, I'm gonna sneak from the skin underneath the glove, okay? And turn it inside out. Now I'm just grabbing the inside of the glove and I could drop it into the trash. Next thing, what do we do? Hand sanitizer. So we're gonna do this again. It's a little more sticky this time, that's okay. Then when we're ready, we're gonna Take from the ear on loop one, on loop two. Now I have it by the probably the least contaminated part, but the, the loops by the ears. I can either drop this in the trash can or if we need to reuse it because PPE is tough to come by these days, I can place this in a, what, what we recommend is a paper bag. This one's a little big, but you can have a labeled paper bag. So if you're gonna be eating at lunch or drinking or taking it off in your office because nobody's around, Place it in a paper bag for safekeeping. Paper because it, it breathes better so it protects the mask a little bit better. All right. Now, there are other types of masks. 
And the next type looks almost exactly the same. It's folded, colored on one side, lighter on the inside, has a metal bar to fit across your nose. But the difference is, is you can tie it. And this is considered a surgical mask and you can actually get a more tight fit because you can tie it tighter rather than just the ear loops. So it offers a little bit more snugness, so therefore a little bit more protection. They also come with face shields. See the reflection. Face shield is on the outside, again the colored side, where the light side is the inside near your face. You can tie it tight. This is good if you, if you wear contacts and you need to have eye protection. Um, so uh, this is an alternative to have face shields. And then the most common higher end protection we have are KN95 or N95, depending on what country they're, they're meant for. So the first one that we have is this. And they can look like duck bills or they can look like this. Um, the inside has, again, a, this is a foam lined metal bar for a snug fit. These are supposed to be a lot more snug, like you're not really supposed to have any break around here. So you really want to get this. And one of the things I'm going to show is you want to practice because we can't fit test right now. So you have to sort of be your own best judge of fit testing. So we want this snug and you're going to breathe in hard and breathe out hard negative and positive pressure. And you want to see this thing expand and contract without feeling a break in air rushing around. If so, you need to fiddle with it a little bit more. Not as much of a fan of that as I am what we see more commonly, which are, this is, this is a, what we see mostly in the hospitals with the N95 and it actually has rubber band loops. So I think this fits a little bit better. So I usually put the top one on first and then I take, I grab the bottom of this and go around and I snug this sucker down. I can already see that it is, there's a little bit of a break up in the nose. There we go. Nothing. I'm feeling nothing and it is really snug. That's why I'm more of a fan of these. I think you can get a better fit. To get rid of this, I'm going to take the, actually let me get, I'm going to take the top one first. It doesn't really matter in this case, like this. Now, we reuse these a lot or sterilize them, so they may need to go into a bag. If they've been in a contaminated room, obviously into the trash receptacle. What's the last thing we do? Either hand sanitizer or if you're done for a while, I recommend it a proper um, soap and water wash. I hope that helps. I hope that helps prevent from cross-contaminating when we go and put on gloves, take off gloves, put on masks, take off masks. and. Uh, be safe out there.